Hi, my name is Travis, and with the help of the wonderful keto community out there, I've been living a ketogenic lifestyle now for more than three years. I lost 60 pounds during the first six months and have maintained that ever since. I've experienced improvements in all my health markers, I've seen huge boosts in my energy levels and fitness levels, and have since become an avid runner. This past year, after raising my family in Ohio and my youngest daughter, Emma, graduating from high school with plans to attend Utah Valley University, we were blessed with the opportunity to move to Utah to be closer to my family. Soon after moving to Utah, I was hired to work at Keto Chow, which has been awesome. One of my favorite things about working here is being able to talk with and help support those who are trying to improve their health through a ketogenic lifestyle. Even though 2021 started off with so much change and hope for the future, 2021 ended up being a really tough year for our family. Shortly after starting at Keto Chow, my amazing mother Dee was re-diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer. We have since moved her closer to be with family to help her with her treatments. Soon after, my daughter Emma moved into college housing and started her classes at Utah Valley University. She began experiencing several health issues. At the insistence of her mom, she went to a doctor and asked them to do a blood test. From these blood test results, she was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia and had to immediately undergo aggressive chemotherapy. Treatment plans for her type of leukemia last two to two and a half years. Due to her being 18 years of age at diagnosis, as well as some other factors, she is considered high risk. My sweet daughter Emma is the type of person who everyone, everyone wants to be around. She loves life, camping, hiking, and was having a blast being part of the Utah Valley University, the DEN, spirit team before her diagnosis. Also, after moving to Utah, she quickly discovered snowboarding, which she became obsessed with. It has been so hard to see her put all of these exciting things in her life on hold and to have to witness her struggle these past few months as she goes through the early stages of treatments. She is the toughest person I know. While trials like this are excruciatingly difficult, there's also been many good things that have happened. We've received so many messages of hope, inspiration, and love. One example is our friends and family started a movement on social media, inspired by Emma and my mom, Dee, that as they are challenged to beat cancer, we are challenged to run, walk, and work out. And then we post a photo of the workout using the hashtags StrongLikeEmma and StrongLikeDee and tag them as our inspiration to push ourselves towards better health. Another unique yet special circumstance is Emma and her grandma, my mom Dee, have been doing cancer treatments together. They have been blessed with many good and sweet experiences along the way. Each of them can uniquely understand what they are going through. They are going to be cancer together. I want to thank everyone in the Keto community in advance for helping our family and to Chris and to Miriam for including my family in this event. Our family is truly humbled by the support. Thank you.